Air Sales by Trustees and Executors, presented by Lester Langdon, a certified probate real estate specialist. Phone number is 281-236-8189. The website is airsales.com. What is probate? Probate is the legal term for the process of administering the estate of someone who has died. When someone dies with a will, probate involves administering the estate, administering the will, paying off creditors, and passing on wealth according to the will and other estate planning instruments. When someone dies without a will, probate will involve following the statutory guidelines for wealth transfer. Some types of assets allow naming of beneficiaries, which allows a direct transfer of the assets without the will and without going through probate. The beneficiaries named on the asset have a greater authority than the will. Assets that allow the naming of beneficiaries include trusts, insurance policies, retirement plans, investment accounts, and assets with joint ownership with right of survivorship or tenants by entirety. Trustee and Executor Guidelines Trustees of trust and executors of a will may need guidelines to help you know the legal process and what is expected. The executor, our executrix, is responsible for managing and settling the estate, starting court procedures, and filing local and IRS final tax returns. A trustee acts as the legal owner of the trust assets and must responsibly handle the trust assets, file taxes for the trust, and distribute the assets per the terms of the trust. The duties of a trustee and an executor are legally required. If you cannot do it right and legal, then hire a professional to handle the duties. You can also step down and allow another person to effectively handle the tasks. Rules vary in each state and situations may be unique, so consult with a tax advisor, attorney, and your real estate agent specializing in airship situations. Eight rules to know when selling estate property. Always use a real estate agent specializing in airship sales. Get the right people to help you get things done. Always use licensed professional experts to avoid liability. Keep the estate property insured. Know the legitimate, reasonable fair market value. Understand the process and your responsibility as you manage the properties. Order a title ownership report and other prudent reports on the estate properties. Make sure the estate property is safe secure and orderly. Always use a certified probate real estate specialist. There is an endless number of probate filings in local courts. This is a complicated process with significant consequences and it requires that executors and administrators have the knowledge resource to facilitate the marketing and sale of the real property. In addition, the court wants to ensure that the transaction is handled with integrity and efficiency. A probate certified realtor understands the complications, process, and the best practices necessary to navigate the transaction to accomplishment, to completion, and to help the estate realize a successful transaction. We can walk you through the process and help you to understand the consequences of decisions being made by you as executor or administrator. Get the right people to help you get things done. The trustee, executor, or administrator has a fiduciary duty to preserve the value of the estate. Other interested parties and heirs may demand your financial liability if something goes wrong. Hire vendors and contractors which carry the proper, correct, hazard, and general liability insurance. Always use licensed professional experts to avoid liability. The executor or administrator who has financial or fiduciary duty to preserve the value of the estate 
protect yourself, hire licensed vendors and contractors. Sometimes jobs get screwed up and their employees do bad work. You hired a specialist that was licensed by the government authority. Keep the estate property insured. Read the property insurance policy. Does it apply when ownership changes to the estate or trust? Does the estate need another new insurance policy? Is the property vacant and does the estate need a vacant property addendum? Most hazard insurance policies do not insure the property which has been vacant for two or three months unless the policy is amended. Thus, the cost of the insurance for a vacant property may double. An investigator will ask the neighbors if it's vacant or has been vacant, and he will check the utility statements to see what utilities have been used. Know the legitimate, reasonable fair market value. The probate court judge may ask for a real estate sale to pay creditors. Shorter sales times often require lower prices. Heirs and other interested parties may want an unreasonable price higher than the market will allow. Higher prices often mean longer sales times. If you talk to a licensed appraiser, ask for an appraisal value which allows a marketing sales time which is acceptable to the probate court judge. If the judge says sell it in four months, ask the appraiser for a four month value. Understand the process and your responsibility as you manage the properties. The probate process involves taking inventory of the estate, paying off creditors of the estate, filing final income tax returns, determining the beneficiaries, distributing the assets to beneficiaries according to the estate or statutory guidelines, and preparing estate tax returns. The probate timeline. Prepare and file petition for probate, court hearing on the petition for probate, at letters of administration, orders for probate, duties and liabilities, issue a bond to the estate administrator if ordered to, and of course letters of testamentary. Notice to creditors and, and claim of exemption if, if, in fact, assets are transferred to a minor. Receive final tax letter from any state or federal jurisdiction, if appropriate. File petition for final distribution and accounting. Hearing on petition for final distribution and accounting. Order approving final distribution and accounting. Distribution of assets to heirs, final discharge order, and final distribution of funds. These times in this timeline are for states generally on average. However, in Texas, there is a shorter timeline to get the estate completed. Executor duties during the probate process. Ask for our paper handout entitled Estate Executor Duties During the Probate Price, uh, Process. It's a one-page flowchart that explains what happens next. We can email it to you. Order a title insurance commitment report and other prudent reports. The title commitment lists creditor financial liens against the estate, describes the insurance and ex importantly, the exceptions to the insurance lists the proof documents that are required and needed by the title insurance company, lists other heir signatures needed, if any. Of course, it may be wise to get other reports depending on the type of the property. A commercial property may require an Environmental Protection Agency Phase One report, uh, which may be ordered to speed the sale of the property. These may take three weeks to a month to get done. A building or pest inspection report may be required after you've done a visual inspection of the property. Then you can officially say that you know the condition of the property. Be sure that the estate property is secure, 
safe, and orderly. Check the insurance, get inspections, and make it clean. Why do I need a family law or probate attorney? Trust laws and the probate process can be extremely complicated. Laws change. If you are the trustee or a state administrator, you are held to a fiduciary standard that will render you liable for any mistakes or oversights you make. Here is some uh, language and, and words from the Texas Estate Code. After approval of the inventory, appraisement, and list of claims, the personal representative of an estate promptly shall apply for a court order to sell. Also from the Texas Estate Code, the court may order the sale of any estate personal property to pay from the proceeds of the sale to pay for expenses of, it, of administration, the decedent's funeral expenses, expenses of the decedent's last illness, allowances, or claims against the estate. Also from the Texas Estate Code, before estate personal property is sold at public auction, notice must be issued by the personal representative of the estate and posted in the manner notices posted for original proceedings in probate. Also from the Texas Estate Code, a sale of estate personal property shall be reported to the court. The Texas Estate Code says that an application for the sale of real estate must be in writing and describe the property sought to be sold or an interest in part of the real estate to be sold, accompanied by an exhibit verified by affidavit and the state's, the estate's condition fully and in detail. Also from the state, the Texas Estate Code, on the filing of an application and exhibit described, described in section 356.252, the clerk shall issue a citation to all persons interested in the estate. The citation must describe the real estate, must inform the interested persons of the right to file an, an opposition to the sale during the period prescribed by the court, and it may, must be served by posting. Why do I need a certified probate real estate specialist? Why are certified probate real estate specialists in such high demand? A probate certified realtor understands the, the complications, the process, and the best practices necessary to navigate the transaction to completion and help the estate realize a win-win transaction. We can walk you through the process and help you understand the consequences of the decisions being made by you as an executor or administrator. You have a fiduciary responsibility and you are financially liable for the assets of the estate. We have a list of service helpers for your required needs at airsales.com. Phone to get it done, 281-236-8189. Our lists have locksmiths, hazard insurance agents for your vacant property, personal property estate sales vendors that have lists of buyers, appraisers to determine value for the court, both real estate and personal property appraisers, cleaning crews, moving and storage, repair and remodel contractors. Here are more service helpers for your needs to meet your responsibility. Phone to get it done, 281-236-8189. You may need an, an, a company for inheritance funding in advance, licensed building inspectors, land surveyors, a title company for deal closing and ownership insurance, EPA Phase 1 consultants for commercial properties, property tax consultants, for example, you may have a five-year tax reversion or a loss of home exemption.
you may have future ad valorem property tax liability. If the property currently has a homestead exemption or an over 65 property tax exemption. The tax exemption legally ends on January the 1st of the next year when the deceased no longer owns the property. If you, the trustee or executor, do not notify the county appraisal district and do not pay the resulting higher tax, then you as trustee or executor may be personally liable for the correct property taxes without exemptions. Do you need a social media will or, or, or words in your will to take this contingency into consideration? It's importantly important to leave your family with access to your online life, but organizing your virtual asset assets represents some hurdles. Would you like your timeline on Facebook to end when you do, in which case you would better leave that online executor some clear instructions to close the account? Or would you rather leave or have your profile memorialized? Think, of, think about the mess that we're all potentially leaving behind from banking passwords to eBay and LinkedIn's logins. Without some sort of long range plan, our laptops are a jumble of personal and financial data our heirs can't possibly make heads or tail of. Who has the key to the post office box? How do you get written authority and possession of that key and of that post office box? Ask your attorney. This video on air sales is presented by Lester Langdon with Realty Consultants. Certified Probate Real Estate Specialist helping trustees, executors, and administrators. The phone number is 281-236-8189. The website is airsales.com. Thank you very much.